We wanted Wakanda to come alive. Moreover, we wanted Africa to come alive for our students. The students entered the building to a beautifully adorned pole that usually just has the schedule on it, but it was so specially designed, it was beautiful. Each student knew that that day was going to be unlike any other. We actually started with a ceremony where all the elements were present and where everyone got to speak the name of an elder or an ancestor and answer in Mojuba, which means we honor you. And that then led to celebration, Funga Alafia, which is a welcome song that is Nigerian. We had a popular Atlanta storyteller, Mama Koku, who came in and narrated some popular West African short stories about Anansi the spider. She got the whole school involved in chanting. She had it narrated, and the students were able to play different characters. It was a real griot experience. Our students were treated to a lunch from a Nigerian company called Fufu Catering. They brought in their traditional igusi stew, fufu, and plantain. The gumbo dance of South Africa, well, in America, we know that as stepping. And so to make a connection between Africa and America, use the gumbo dance in order to symbolize protest, in order to connect both the African struggle under apartheid as well as the black American experience in really ensuring freedoms and civil rights. Everything shut down when the drummers and the dancers arrived. We had Giwa and Mata, the soul-stirring company, come in and teach the dance Sente, which is one of my favorites. The drummers, Brother Harun and his helpers, taught the students how to frame the drum, how to put a new head on the drum, and how to string it. They also taught them the rhythm to sente. So at the end of the day, the entire school was jamming together in the gym, singing, dancing, drumming, having a great time. There was a marketplace set up right outside the door. Smells, visuals, clothing, artwork, jewelry, shoes, posters, drums, we had it all. Our eighth grade and seventh grade girls had an opportunity to work with spoken word artist, poet, Ever Taylor, our very own. And they all spoke highly of having this safe space to start talking about the things that they are encountering as they move into their young womanhood. And so the young lady spent time with artist Sonia Evans, who had her Naturally Me Kids concept and really allowed the girls to really think about themselves and paint portraits of themselves. The gentlemen, well, they had to experience stick fighting, which is a Zulu tradition. And one of our very own alum, Sisipo, he came and he taught them all about stick fighting and actually gave them an opportunity to try it for themselves. All of our teachers got in on the fun. Mr. Thompson, our science teacher, taught a lesson about kinetic energy and potential energy, and he related it to the vibranium that Black Panther used in his suit. Math teacher Ms. Carrie Jo Wallace continued the tradition of breaking down the technology in Black Panther. Shuri, the spunky teenage little sister, wore Kamoyo beads that had the hologram come right out of it. Well, Ms. Wallace helped her students create Kamoyo bracelets but they also had to calculate the surface area of the beads, which then became a complete mathematics lesson. Dr. Valerie Camille Jones taught our seventh and eighth graders STEM-infused lessons about the holographic displays generated through the Kamoyo bracelets worn by the people of Wakanda. Our co-founder, Mrs. Kimberly Bearden, and her son, Pakamani, taught our students one of the languages spoken in the movie. Pakamani is from South Africa, and his native language is Fosa. So he spent several hours teaching our students common phrases and sentences in that language. Mr. King and his seventh and eighth grade students debated the pros and cons of isolationism, which was a common conflict between the antagonist and protagonist, T'Challa and Killmonger. I teach language arts, but I do so with a humanities approach. So my students are doing research on the real kings and queens of Africa. 
I put up a map of Africa and I gave them the biographies of over 20 different kings and queens and we plotted where they actually resided on the map. The kids were amazed at how many kings and queens they can now name as a result of the lesson. On the third day, that Wednesday, the big day, it was finally here and we were so excited. As we got on those buses, the students were chanting and singing and the drums were playing. It was like our, our own royal coronation. We entered the buses and we were transported to Wakanda. Entered the movie theater to the same excitement. There were drums right there at the door ushering us in because it was time to watch the movie. Everybody's eyes and hearts and ears were open to the messages of the Black Panther. Once we saw the film, once we could all now gather and speak of all the things that we experienced, the children really loved that they sat there and saw every single lesson within the film. As a final word, from our RCA family to yours, we encourage everyone to go and see the Black Panther movie and be inspired by the fantasy that's rooted in history.